Hi guys, right, what we have here is a no-nonsense pro guide to optimizing your graphics settings to be able to dominate in competitive Armour 3. This is a no-fills guide to get you the most frames per second as fast as possible. You're not here to listen to whimsical ramblings about the pretty reflections on the water or how lovely the sugar puff clouds look. We just want more frames so we can kill more people and blow more shit up without lagging like the blind dude in Rogue One. I'm going to whiz through the settings with you and in the description there's a link to static images so you can alt tab in and out of Armour 3 as you adjust your settings to make sure they match. This is not a discussion group. Use these settings. Don't fanny about mixing in some of your own. Now let's just get one thing clear. This is about performance. We're minimizing load and squeezing every last frame out of your PC and the Armour 3 engine, whilst at the same time giving you an FPS edge over all the plonkers who like looking at pretty pictures of mountains, clouds, trees and men dressed in army gear. For some of you this might take a bit of adjusting too, but don't be shy. Try the settings and see what a difference it makes to your in-game performance. Remember, these settings are about uber competitive performance and not about pretty pictures of trees your girlfriend might like looking at. Right, General, there's not a whole lot to say. Match these up in your armour 3. Fuck shadows. Yep, once in a blue moon you might see someone creeping up on you round a corner. But that one time is not worth the thousands of other frames you'll have lost over time. Turn them off. The only thing we're going to discuss is visibility. As you can see, my setting is at 900 meters overall and 790 for objects. These settings are fine for any kind of competitive shooting you like to do in King of the Hill, unless you're using a DMR with one of the powerful scopes like the AMS. If you're using the RCO, ARCO, ERCO and even the DMS, you don't need to see any further. You can reduce the overall to say 500 meters, but you then won't be able to tell if a tower shutter is open or closed at any range. So that's a problem. Hence, stick to these settings. Now, if you're using a DMR in King of the Hill with a decent sight, then you can ramp the overall up to 2600, which takes your object up to around 1550. This is all you need. Any target over 1300 meters is very difficult to hit with a DMR, so you'll just be putting down harassing fire. Now, if you're playing Wasteland, then your stock overall should be about 1600, since spotting and stalking enemies at range is more important. Also, in Wasteland, there's much less concentrated action, so having 1600 is fine all round. I'm not covering sniping visibility settings, as those guys don't need FPS like we do. Snipers are looking at the hot bits in the crotch of your uniform with the thermal of their laser designator or all the pretty scenery. This guide is for the people in combat doing all the shooting. OK, on to display. This is super simple. Pick the lowest resolution that you can still enjoy the game with. The lower the resolution, the bigger the target and more frames per second. But the less of the battlefield you'll see. I can play at 2304 by 1440, but I want the extra frames I get playing at 1920 by 1200. Make sure that you set your desktop, that's the Windows resolution, to whatever setting you choose, as different settings can affect performance and cause funky menu glitches. Oh, and you'll probably have 1920 by 1080 and a 16.9 display. I have a CRT monitor that has a 16-10 ratio. 
Chris Isley in it. Anti-aliasing and post-processing. Most of this is fancy shit you just don't need. So make sure bloom, radial blur, rotation blur and depth of field are all set to zero. Now sharpen filter. You can set this to what you like. But as a pro I whack mine up to 200. It makes enemies stand out and when combined with the rest of the settings we're using it works just peachy. Full screen anti-aliasing or as I like to call it shit that blurs the image. I have mine off. If you want a feminine soft focus look go for it but you won't be pro. You'll find the image has a bit more ambient motion with this off that means the image will look like it's always in motion. Deal with it you're a pro. Turn it the fuck off. Post process anti-aliasing. I call this the super sharp shit. This will make enemies easy to spot when they're static and in motion. At the moment I'm using super duper super sharp shit CMAA. Although I also use FXAA Ultra. Try them both, see which one works best for you. But use one of them with these settings. Right, that's it. Use the link in the description if you need to reference the settings. Be warned, the look and feel might be a little weird to start with. Man up, you'll get used to it. Now get out there and rip shit up. But do leave a like, a dislike and a comment first. Thanks for watching.